Hi, this is Zidane Tutorials and this video is regarding a comparative analysis or comparative case study for earning potential of multiple stock photography sites as a contributor. Now I have, for example, I have opened up the Shutterstock contributor account of mine over here and we are going to go through this very soon and then after that I have um, here Adobe Stock dashboard of mine then I have got Getty Images or iStock, then we have got uh, Deposit Photos, then another tab for the Dreams Time dashboard, and then in the end we are also going to discuss a little bit about the freepick.com and here I have got a summary of um, um, my conclusion and uh, my recommendations regarding these sites. And um, for, so for those who are unfamiliar with this channel, Normally, um, my channel focuses on um, different sort of strategies related to Shutterstock contributor account because I have been working as a contributor on Shutterstock for multiple years now. So I have um, a reasonable uh, exposure and uh, um, I have been quite reasonably successful in getting some passive income from this particular source. But as part of my fifth strategy that which is not displayed here, but uh, it has been published on my channel, uh, I started exploring some other sources as well, some other stock photography sites as well to sell my artwork, to, to explore uh, is it worth it or which platforms could be another addition to my earning potential. Anyway, uh, and this channel is not just about the stock photography sites, obviously um, uh, I upload um, tutorial videos related to Photoshop and Illustrator over here as well. So uh, if you are related to the designing career and especially if you are a beginner or if you are exploring the earning, uh, the passive uh, earning uh, sources related to the designers, I think you should subscribe to this channel. And, uh, and if you're interested in Shutterstock contributor account, uh, this is the channel for you. So do watch this playlist of mine, which is not available on this channel. And uh, you will start from the case study passive income, and then you could go through these strategies one by one. Now coming back to our comparative analysis. So we are going to start with Shutterstock, obviously. Um, so here is the earning summary of this year year 2022 and we are here at the end of the September month. Now this month uh, has been the best one so far in 2022 and I've, uh, I was able to secure $305 and here I would show you the earning summary here as well for the month of September, uh, September 2022. So I made $305 with uh, 724 downloads. Now, uh, for those who have been following my earning um, uh, updates, monthly updates related to Shutterstock, uh, they know that uh, I set a target of uh, achieving $200 um, dollars per month. So I have made $2,000 so far in nine months. So I am in, I'm sitting at a comfortable position regarding that target. So, um, and I will, uh, I have a summary over here, so I will get back to this thing uh, once again in by the end. So, uh, keep watching this video till the end so that uh, I'm sure you are going to learn something really new and helpful regarding uh, uh, where you should invest your time and effort in and which platforms are the ones that should be avoided uh, if you rely on my particular case study. Moving on to our um, next um, candidate, which is um, Adobe Stock. Now, Adobe Stock has been really impressive, and this is my second best, uh, obviously, after Shutterstock, because uh, uh, let me, um, you know, um, break the final verdict here uh, already, which is that there is no comparison to Shutterstock. Shutterstock is the best uh, so far. Uh, at least in in my personal experience uh, although I have been working on it for a very long period but still uh, the number of downloads and um, the, the number of clients available over here are way more than any other platform but still Adobe Stock is a really impressive second candidate in this list and uh, it has been quite impressive in giving me some extra income on top of my Shutterstock income with the same designs, I'm selling the same designs here. 
Now this is very important that in Shutterstock I have got like um, my portfolio has about 600 plus um, designs. On the other hand, uh, in uh, Adobe Stock I have about uh, close to 300 designs here. Now if if we look at that uh, this year my earning um, with Adobe Stock has been five hundred and sixty dollars, and if we compare it with Shutterstock, I made you know, on Shutterstock I made two thousand, two thousand dollars, and on Adobe Stock I made five hundred sixty dollars. But the difference is that here my portfolio is only three hundred, and even these three hundred were um, um, the majority of these three hundred were added uh, during uh, I think at the end of May or the start of May something like that so for that reason I have uh, selected that particular period where I added this um, reasonable amount of portfolio uh, designs in it so that we could make some sort of a fair assessment of uh, or we could test the water that uh, how good is it or how bad is it so with that amount of um, um, designs in Adobe stock uh, you could say that um, during uh, during these five months, starting from April to May, June, July, August, and now the September has ended, uh, I made four hundred and fifteen dollars in these five months. So this is a, a good. This is still a good income, and it is pretty close to seventy dollars per month, which is a good average and which is a reasonable addition to the average of Shutterstock here. So for example, if from here, if I'm getting 200 plus from Shutterstock, and then if, if Adobe Stock is giving me around um, $70 per month, average obviously, then uh, it is something which cannot be ignored. Now moving on to our third candidate, our third participant in this case study, which is Cathy Images or iStock. Now, in case of iStock, um, I was impressed by the potential of iStock, although uh, the trend is not reliable so far. Obviously, if you will spend more time on it and if I will try to figure out about it more in detail in the future, then maybe I would be able to um, uh, understand the pattern or what is working for iStock and what is not. But at the moment, I was just testing um, if, if it's worth it or not. So I would say that iStock is, uh, could be labeled as uh, a platform which is worth it. And because um, you will notice here, you could ignore these few months because in, during these months there was almost no design in my portfolio. So this is the, uh, this is the time when I started this um, uh, comparative analysis and uh, I started this case study that I decided that I would inject or upload some uh, designs on multiple platforms to check uh, which one among those are good um, as uh, earning uh, source and which ones are not worth my time. So this is an uh, update um, uh, here in their dashboard it's very complicated to understand uh, how much money was made in each month uh, and especially uh, their earning summaries are delayed for about 20 days. So for example, the, the earning of September will be uh, shared with us on our close to 20th of October. So, uh, so in that way it's not good enough, but anyway, so this is the income. Yeah, I will quickly show you that, for example, in the month of May, I made around 34 or $35. Then in the month of June, it was the best one and I was able to cross about $66. Then it dropped down to $18 in July and then August, uh, it went back up to about uh, $35. So um, all these, uh, I will get to these numbers again in the summary where you will be able to make better judgment about this. So I will only compare um, uh, the data of these four months in case of iStock because earlier there were no images in it or hardly any images uh, uh, on this uh, platform. So uh, again this is not very reliable because there is a lot of fluctuation. Uh, it's uh, very difficult to make up some sort of uh, an average here but still um, these are just four months and I, I'm really hopeful because of this month because this particular month, the month of June, has shown me the potential of um, carry images. Moving on, so these three are the ones that I, I would highly recommend you 
if you are only working with Shutterstock, I will highly recommend you to start um, selling your work, artwork in uh, on Adobe Stock and I Stock as well for sure. Now let's get to the other, the other ones, the back ventures. Now let's get to the deposit photos. Now deposit photos uh, has been a disappointment in my case. Now you will notice that um, I, I uploaded about uh, in the month of April. Um, by the end of it, I uploaded about 99 designs in it to check it. There were some designs al earlier as well, but those were too simply dead. Now by the end of September now, let's get to the September month. Okay, so by the end of September, um, I had 139 designs here, and I I was I was able to make earn just 7.5 dollars. So this is a huge disappointment, despite having 100 plus designs and multiple months uh, deposit photos, just gave me, uh, you know, a single digit dollar. So this is not something worth it for at least in my case because the designs that I uploaded were good ones and those are selling really nice at other platforms such as Shutterstock, uh, Adobe Stock and iStock. So for that reason I would advise you to drop um, deposit photos unless you are familiar with something that I, or I'm not. Maybe you could share some insight on it um, regarding selling artwork on deposit photos. So if you are successful in this platform, then obviously you could continue. But um, if you are relying on my case study, my uh, personal case study, uh, it simply shows that this is not worth it. This is really bad, really, really bad. Even if what, even if it, it was like maybe ten dollars or even fifteen dollars per month, uh, I would have considered it. But seven dollars in uh, five months, that that's really bad so simply you could just drop the deposit photos and I picked it because I I read somewhere about this one or maybe about dreams time that it, it has partner uh, uh, it has a partnership with Google so I thought maybe it's a good, good platform but for selling but no a big no moving on to the dreams time again another disappointment in fact a bigger one here in this case, again, for the year 2022 entire year, although I added the designs in the month of May, by the end of May, so still if, if you count, it would become like five months. I gave it five months to test how it goes and uh, the results are in front of you. It's just four and a half dollar, okay, in five months. So it's not even a dollar per month average, so it's really bad. So Dreamstime, again, a big no. Maybe these two platforms, Dreamstime and Deposit Photos, maybe they are good for uh, photographs, but at least for vectors, uh, illustrations, or um, icons, or uh, you know, uh, the digital artwork, these two platforms have not responded to my designs um in a nicer in a nice way okay so i had uh, i'm obviously going to drop these two platforms for sure in the future now unless i came across some you know new information or somehow i identify that i was making some mistake otherwise uh, i'm going to drop these two and i'm going to continue with these three um uh, those are shutterstock adobe stock and iStock. So as I mentioned earlier in the beginning of this video, I want you to talk about the free epic contributor account because um, I think many designers are familiar with free epic website. They use it for some free uh, downloading free designs and uh, using those for some their client work or some company's work. Uh, anyway, as a contributor account, um, I would it's my personal opinion that uh, the designers should not sell their artwork on free epic unless free epic um, has some sort of a, um, a payment or payout structure uh, which gives out reasonable income but at the moment it would be like selling your designs for pennies or maybe nothing and that would simply saturate the market with free designs and uh, it, it might result in lowering, um, lowering the rates of uh, uh, the payout criteria even for the other websites because then the other websites 
will start reducing their rates too uh, because of uh, websites like Freepik. So for that reason, uh, I would advise you not to sell your artwork um, in Freepik, but again, it's your choice. And I'm simply relying on, I, I did not experience this by myself, but I'm relying on the case studies that were shared on YouTube by other designers who uh, checked out Freepik, they, they sold their designs over here and they, they were getting like pennies for their designs and I, I really felt bad about that. So this is not a good idea for designers. So I would advise you not to sell your work on websites like Freepik for sure. And uh, as far as the deposit photos and um, Dreamstime is concerned, if if these websites works for your design, then you should go ahead and use these websites for sure. For in my case, I'm I'm not going to proceed because uh, my my designs are not selling over here. But if uh, yours get sell, then go ahead. But for free pick, um, uh, it's a no for everybody. Okay. Uh, although it's a good website, obviously it's a good support website for um, beginners, but the experienced designers should not sell their good work over here. Now let's get to the summary, um, like I mentioned earlier. So here is the case study earning comparison uh, during the year 2000, 2022. Now, uh, like I mentioned for the Shutterstock, I had, uh, this is important, this context is important that uh, my portfolio was, uh, in case of Shutterstock, my portfolio is 600 plus images or designs here. And if for the nine months of this year, I made uh, $2,027 uh, and my average for Shutterstock has been $225 uh, so far in this year, 2022. Now let's get to the Adobe Stock. In Adobe Stock, I had 290 plus designs and during the last six months, I made $415. Um, dollars and my average is 69 or let's call it 70. Then in case of iStock or Getty Images I had 200 designs here and for the last four months I made 153 dollars so average is 38 dollars. A monthly average okay these averages are per month. Then for deposit photos I had 130 images and in the last five months I only made 7.5 dollar and the average is $1.5, so a big no. And finally, the dreams time, 100 images, five months, and only $4.5, so this is not even a single dollar per month, it's $0.9 for each month. So this is uh, a complete uh, summary of the five stock photography sites that I have uh, talked about and uh, 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 shared my earning summary with you guys. So you could um, make your own decisions, you could rely on my research or you could, um, you know, just like me, you could also try out your designs, maybe 25 to 50 designs on each of these platforms and check if uh, they respond nicely to your designs and uh, you could shortlist uh, your own platforms uh, by yourself. Uh, but if you are selling uh, digital artwork, you could also simply rely on my case study and uh, you could uh, start with these three and uh, I, I'm 100% sure that these three would treat you nicely too. But if you have photograph, uh, photographs, if you sell photographs or real images, um, then maybe these two platforms would also respond to you nicely. I'm not sure about that. So that's it and um, uh, before um, uh, concluding this video, um, like I mentioned earlier, don't forget to watch this playlist related to Shutterstock if you haven't watched it already and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, support this channel by liking this video, dropping some comment if you have some suggestions, if you have your own personal choices and opinions, uh, feel free to share those in the comments because um, your uh, responses or involvement with the videos really help the channel and um, that would encourage me to continue making videos of this sort and sharing uh, and to share more of uh, my research with you guys. Um, okay, that's it. Um, take care. Have a nice day.